Hello YouTube, Silver Falcon here with a little toy I've been working on. Uh, what I have here is I have a spreadsheet where I, I'm inputting everything that I'm buying in terms of silver. And today we're just going to talk about the U.S. constitutional uh, silver I've been picking up these last, oh, about eight months or so. And how I've been cataloging it so that when a day comes to sell it, I can make a decision on, you know, what, what price point I, I'm going to be looking at. Um, I'm, I guess I classify myself not really a, a prepper or um, stuff hits the fan type, but, um, you know, a saver, maybe um, maybe uh, pick up a nice little premium as we go along. And, uh, and with that, I went ahead and made the spreadsheet. So here's what we've got. Uh, I start off on the left, and I, I've got some adjustments to make. This isn't perfect, and feel free to let me know what adjustments you might have on similar spreadsheets you've got. But we've got Morgan's Peace Dollar Seed Silver, everything, everything that I could think of. Excuse me, and um, I went ahead and I listed them. Then we've got the weight in grams, the weight in grains, ounces, the percentage of silver. And I found out that it, when you're dealing with just 90% silver, everything works fine. Everything's in proportion to each other, the way, the coin, all that stuff. When you start dealing with 40%, it doesn't quite work the same way. But you know what? Um, right now, we're just talking about the 90% um, silver weight and silver value. So to see where we stand, we've got, as you can see, right up there, silver right now as we're speaking is $15.40 an ounce. And if you don't believe me, there's coinflation right there. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to step out of coinflation. Um, I'm sorry, that was Kitco. And go into coinflation. And we're going to look at the Morgan dollars. And the Morgan dollar right now, as we're speaking, the melt value is eleven ninety. dollars um, I've got eleven ninety one. I think my math is pretty good to come within one penny of it. So I, I'm going to pat myself slightly on the back for that. Now it says, um, for their recent update, silver is 13, uh, I'm sorry, 1538. But keep it in mind, there's a little copper in there also. But still, uh, within one penny, I'm not doing too bad. So let's go back and see what else we've got. Uh, at the top, I've got total silver, my total cost, and my plus and minus. Okay, and that's based on, on the current price of silver. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what, what else is going on here. I come down here, and there's my constitutional silver, and I, I put down everything I've bought. Everything, uh, the price, as you can see, I've, I've got to put, you know, some other things here. Now price, yeah, I can do that right now. Price, um, amount, okay, and how many I bought. Okay, and I can make those a little bit bigger too. Uh, total price for everything. Um, and, and that's going to tell me how much I've paid for everything. Okay, I can make those a little bit bigger later. Okay, that, that's good where they are. All right, so let's go down. And as you can see at the end here, I've got the total price for that. Okay. Um, we go ahead and go down now. Okay, there's a 0%. Okay, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the 0%. Um, there's the 40s, war nickels 35%, coming up to the 90s. I haven't done the sort, so a few 40s are going to pop up here and there. Um, and there's the amount of everything I've paid for. Um, how much, you know, how much it costs me uh, as we go down. Okay, there's a 40, just, oh, there's a 40 right there. And there's a 40 right there, so I have to do another sort. You can sort this any way you want, by year, by, you know, what kind of coin it is. Face value, percentage, how much you paid. I mean, this is, I mean, something I just sat down and knocked out pretty quickly one day. It's pretty good. Um, okay, there's some Liberty coins there. Liberty um, nickels. Um, I should say war nickels. Um, no, 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 they're not. No, 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 no. They're not. They're, they're non-silver, but they're Liberty nickels. I was right the first time going back to pre-World War I. Uh, total cost that number I think was fourteen ninety at the top, so that's good to go. Um, now what we have here is we've got let's move up a bit. We've got how many of each I bought. So this is almost the exact same the exact same um, spreadsheet that we had just a, a couple minutes ago, except as we pan to the right, uh, 
we've got amount. That's how many I've got of each. Okay, and the total silver and the total face uh, all the way at the, at the end there. So when we go to look at, well, how much do we want to pay for constitutional silver? Uh, and they quote us, well, 15 times face, 13 times face. This is where they're getting it from. Okay, so we cursor down. Uh, here's most found major major currencies. The Colombian, that's the the one from the, I don't know, it wasn't a World's Fair, but it was a fair that they had back in 1892-93 time frame. Um, I actually have a couple of those, and I'm looking to get a few more. But as we go here, I have no, these are actually right here, let's see, Washington Bicentennials. I don't have any of those. Um, but as, as I come down further, okay, we've, we've got, you know, the uh, total amount, okay. Um, here it is right there. And 50, 59.53, that was the number at the top also. Total face value, $113. I got to double check that. That doesn't seem right. But... But this is a nice little spreadsheet of 59.53. That's the total silver. That's, I'm sorry, that's the total silver in, in all those coins. So if we melt it out, scoop off the stuff off the top, 59 ounces and 59.53 ounces. And I believe if I go to the top, there it is. 59.53, 1419. There's the uh, cost. We saw that number. It was actually 1418 and 90 cents or something like that and right now i'm in the hole 501 dollars but you know silver's going up and i'm gonna i've actually got spreadsheets down the road for the actual break even point and when i'll feel good about if i have to sell it of going ahead and doing that but no i'm fine now there's no major catastrophes happening in my life i don't need uh to go out and sell and take a loss. I mean, I can wait until it'll go back up to 25. Okay, I'll feel better about it then. But in any event, uh, I've got other spreadsheets. If you look at the bottom here, you can you see I've got international. Uh, I I affectionately call it international constitution. Now, those are my those are my international coins. The 90 percenters, the um, the uh, English coins, the the Panamanian coins. Oh, the, the Austrian coins, all those things. And I got my total ounces. I, I've got, you can see right there, I've got a spreadsheet which adds all these things up. Going to the left, going to the left, my fractionals, okay, those are my bullion banks. Uh, Canada, Australia, Austria, okay, my poured bars, uncirculated, my slabs, uh, Libertads, ASEs. Okay, maple leaves, all that stuff. Um, but that, if if this meets with success, I'll introduce those videos, uh, those spreadsheets in a later video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. What are you guys using for spreadsheets? How are you guys keeping track of things? Thank you very much for watching.